this one. This is this one. Like what I mentioned it earlier. Is this what I was? You thought I was going to start with? Yeah. And you were you were excited because the Brendan Fraser one isn't really casting. Yeah, it's just they want him to yeah. be there, but yeah. I'm still excited for it because mm-hmm. I love the Mummy movies. Like I watched all three of them. Which one is your favorite? First one. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, I barely remember this. I, I just remember the, the horrible CGI with mm-hmm. the rock and and everything. That's you know they did a spinoff series for that one? I didn't. I never saw it, but I knew. I knew mm-hmm. about, at least I knew about that one. So, okay. Well, then we're going to go right on to the, the even better casting news because this <laughs> one I am also torn about, but for, in, for good ways. This is from CBR, and this says, quote, Blades Mahershala Ali Snipes uh, says Snipes still owns the role. Quote: I look forward to earning it. I said Mahershala Ali, so weird right there. Yeah, you did. I did. I was like Mahershala, but this is uh, this is epic casting to me because he is a fantastic actor. But mm-hmm. I'm also like I want to look up some of the uh, and just a quote from Blade. Mm-hmm. I promise you, you'll be dead by dawn. Yes. So <laughs> I I love it. I, that movie like mm-hmm. we, we mean this. Is, uh, Blade is my favorite superhero movie mm-hmm. of all time, bar none. Yeah. Uh, the first Blade is maybe it's the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that you couldn't make that movie now. Yeah. You b- because it's just there's so much detail in it's so its own thing. Everything from Marvel now is so drawn into this. You know, the it's the cost you pay for it being in a in a shared universe, right? Wait, do you think Morbius can maybe? Th- that's Sony though, so I don't expect it to look like a Marvel property exactly. That's true, but like, like, if you want to feel like something that's Marvel like or like Blade like, I mean, maybe get there because it kind of has like a Blade feel because Morbius is somewhat a vampire, and he was going to be in, uh, in Blade. Mm-hmm. The I was I was reading up on it recently because I was I just rewatched it and I was reading up on it and Morbius was supposed to be in that very end scene on the roof. Mm-hmm. So and they, and they ended up not going with it. I wonder <laughs> who they would have casted for that, but. Maharshala Ali uh, is an incredible actor. Mm-hmm. I do wonder if he might be a little like I'm guessing he's going to bulk up for yeah. the role, you know. So I, I don't know, but like he does. Like you look at that picture there, he looks like a blade. It's spot on mm-hmm. right there. Like I was, I was a little bit hesitant at first. And it was a good kind of hesitant because mm-hmm. I like him as an actor, but mm-hmm. I just wasn't sure if he was the right for that. Do you role. think they're going to give him a fade like how Wesley Snipe oh. had that fade, that signature? Blade, the, the cut, yes, the cut look in the back. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I hope. I hope they don't just go with a traditional fade and they actually go because there's a lot of detail in that. Mm-hmm. Like that haircut must have been. I, like I don't know if that was like a. It had to be a cut, right? It couldn't. It have been has done to be a cut because, like, I was watching videos how they do certain cuts. Like legit, they have to measure out like everything. Yeah. So like, I think it's like, if they do, then I'm so happy, and that'd be like a great thing, like a great homage mm-hmm. to fans. Absolutely. To have that little Easter egg. And one of the reasons I like this so much is because one of the things I complain about a lot with these issues is mm-hmm. the the lack of respect shown to the pre- to their predecessors mm-hmm. and the lack of respect shown to fans. Mm-hmm. And Mahershala Ali clearly has respect for Wesley Snipes mm-hmm. uh, in the previous production. Yeah. So it says, uh, and this is from uh, CBR, and the article was written by uh, Noah Dominguez. Mm-hmm. So it says. Uh, Blade star Maharshala Ali is eager to earn his place as Marvel's resident vampire hunter, saying the role and the excitement it brings still belongs to Wesley Snipes. Mm -hmm. Uh, What I look forward to is earning it, Ali said during a recent interview with Jake Hamilton of Jake's Takes. I look forward to earning, you know, there's an anticipation for it. There's an excitement for it that he owns, that he owns, that Mr. Snipes owns, you know? Uh, and so and and so in filling his shoes, it's a little hard to read that because mm-hmm. he's he's clearly saying it's uh, it's transcript. Uh, I'm just wor- I'm just working to earn my place in this. I'm just excited to get going and do the work. So he sounds like he's excited to play this role to do yeah. this character because it is a reboot. So they're gonna reintroduce. Do you think he's gonna be a part of Phase Four? Uh, well, technically, this this is I don't know is it's it's a movie and not a TV show, right? So mm-hmm. it's uh, and they've casted Delroy Lindo in yeah. it. And I don't know what character he's going to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people were saying Whistler. I'm not sure if they're if they're going to do that. That would be exciting. That would be very exciting. Like Delroy Lindo is maybe one of the most under underrated actors mm-hmm. working. Like a lot of people talk about Denzel Washington. I yeah. love Delroy Lindo's work. Mm-hmm. He was in a movie. Uh, a B type uh, action movie called yeah. uh, Romeo Must Die that I absolutely love. I need to search this up uh, because it sounds familiar. It was a Jet Li movie from like 2000 with Al- with Aaliyah. Um, absolutely incredible. It was like Aaliyah's first acting role, and she was like magnetic, just owned the screen like. 
charisma like that is a once in a lifetime thing. Oh, I think I've seen this before. Yeah. I think. I am of the opinion that Beyonce exists today because we no longer have Aaliyah. Like, mm-hmm. I think Aaliyah would be Beyonce. You know, she was that talented. She, you wouldn't, mm-hmm. I, you're, a little, you're too young. You wouldn't, you wouldn't actually be able to understand, but she was extremely gifted. Mm-hmm. She was extremely talented. She had charisma out the, you know, out of uh, everything. I couldn't believe that uh, when she passed away. So I, I can't say enough good things about her, but there, she was in that movie mm-hmm. with her called Romeo Must Die. He was also in The, F- the Five Bloods, which came out last year. Mm-hmm. And he was in a underrated show that only got one season on ABC called Chica- The Chicago Code as like a corrupt alderman yeah. in Chicago around Caprini Green. Mm-hmm. So very, very talented actor. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking forward to see what he does with the character. Uh, I hope he bulks up a little bit. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Is there a part with Anthony um, Anderson where he says chow mein? Yeah. Now I remember yeah. that movie. None of those jokes could be made today. Yeah. None of the jokes in that movie could be made today. That's the funniest part about mm-hmm. it. He, he, he calls Jet Li's character dim sum the whole movie. Dim sum? Oh, I said chow mein. My bad. But yeah, he, I, I know the yeah. part because I remember watching it as a kid and I was like, hmm. Yep. There was also like rumors that like they, they, there was supposed to be a kiss between Aaliyah and Jet Li's character and they, mm-hmm. and they nixed it because they thought that people weren't ready for like an interracial thing like that, which I don't know if I buy. But it was made in 2000. Yeah, I know. Like, that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I'm not sure if I buy that, mm-hmm. but that could have just been, you know, virtue signaling from, you know, people who are trying to virtue signal after the fact. Like we wanted to do it and then they cut it. I don't know if I buy that. So. Yeah. But Maharshal Ali... Yeah, and that's just talking about Delroy Lindo. We mm-hmm. have, yeah, we get, let's get back to Marshall Ali. So mm-hmm. Ali is the third person to play Blade in live action following Snipes in New Line Cinema's film, uh, Blade film trilogy, and Kirk Sticky Fingers Jones played in Blade the TV series. Did you ever see that? The TV series? Yeah. Um, it sounds familiar. I never saw it. It sounds familiar. Uh, it aired on Spike in 2006. Oh, I didn't have Spike. Okay, so the time. new Blade movie also marks Ali's second major Marvel project with the actor having previously portrayed Cornell Cottonmouth in Netflix's Marvel series Luke Cage. He was the best part of Luke Cage as well. Mm-hmm. He's that gifted of an actor. So uh, I'm hoping that this one comes uh, goes well. I would like to see a lot of the same tone uh, work that they did in those early Marvel shows if they're going to go with a different tone they need to actually make it a horror movie like they did with aspects of Blade I I really like the horror aspect of Blade like those were because like for me Brett knows this too like I'm not really a big fan of horror me neither yeah, like both of us are not a big fan, but if you do it right, like how Blade did, I'm comfortable watching it. There's so mm-hmm. much atmosphere in that movie. There's so much like darkness and mm-hmm. grit, and it's it feels like its own thing. When yeah. you watch Marvel movies, like we're going to talk about Hawkeye next, mm-hmm. but so much of Marvel feels so by the numbers. Mm-hmm. The It's just a product of the fact that they've turned these into mass marketable projects, right? Mm-hmm. So these are parts of a machine of different uh, projects all made by different people, but by the same corporate office. Yeah. So since they have to be interconnected, you get stuck with these things that all kind of feel vaguely similar. Mm-hmm. And then it gets lost. There's no art in that to me. That's true. So what was your favorite part in the first Blade movie? I really like it when they're dancing in the club and like um, all of a sudden like the sprinklers start like sprinkling down like right blood. Right in the beginning. Yeah, like yeah. right in the beginning and like the two guys are like, what is this? <laughs> and then like... Poor Kenny... Jo- the actor that name is Kenny Johnson. I, I yeah. love that guy. So he, he looks so out of place and uncomfortable that mm-hmm. whole scene and it's just... It's so gross. It, it, it's gross but I love it because like they're so confused and I'm like, this is very genuine. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see if mm-hmm. they can actually find a way to make that movie feel even half as good as Blade, mm-hmm. right? Because to me, it, he's going to have to start practice posing now because nobody poses oh, cooler yeah, than Oh, yeah, earlier you, you were practicing how to pose like Blade. Yeah, like everybody, like if you if you can't, the, the, the whole uh, casting of him should have been like, come in the room mm-hmm. and pose cool. And yeah. if you can't do that, we can't cast you. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> That's so true. Yes, that was a, I mean, it's over the top, mm-hmm. but the movie also never, it, it always takes itself very seriously, mm-hmm. right? They, there's the scene when uh, Vanessa, the, the character, the, the hemato- hematologist is talking to mm-hmm. Whistler and she says like, you, you have, or she's talking to Blade and she says, you have a lot of love for him, don't you, about mm-hmm. Whistler? And he goes, he goes, he make, we have a good arrangement going. 
He makes the weapons, and I use them. Like, that would never be allowed in the movies now. He would have to make some stupid quip, or it'd have to be emotional or something like mm-hmm. that. He's not emotional. He's closed off. He's yeah, a vampire hunter. But I love this one part where, like, um, he smiles randomly. Like, he just grins, and then goes back yeah and i'm like i love that yeah like i i and i don't know if anyone other than wesley snipes could have mm-hmm. pulled that off mm-hmm. like that's so him yeah but it was kind of sad that like they didn't like continue with like that whole thing because like he did like battle with like drug issues mm-hmm. but other than that like i loved these movies like yep. I feel like I hate the third one personally i'm not a fan he got like he was in he, he felt like he got particular like progressively less involved with mm-hmm. each movie so he was barely in the third one like yeah. he gets out he gets outshone by not outshone but he gets mm-hmm. like literally less screen time than ryan reynolds it felt like mm-hmm. so i watched it and i was okay about it i i still preferred the first one oh, because yeah. the first one was like so action-packed yep the first and it was, was like incredible. less confusing because yep. the second one like basically they talked about his love interest and then it disappeared they didn't need to do that mm-hmm. like he has the that the whole scene in the first one where she lets him drink the blood from her neck that was incredible mm-hmm. like that uh, whole thing is incredible and there's there's a closed off nature to him but he's and there's very little vulnerability shown but he's not supposed to mm-hmm. you know that's not how what the character's supposed to be about so i just don't know if marvel can top it we uh, i welcome them to to try and do something as good as the new blade movie but uh Hopefully, Maharshala Ali can pull that oh off. Oh, my God. A Marvel idea. Blade versus Deadpool. Yeah, that's that's been talked about before, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they could do that now. They've got yeah. Ryan, they could bring Ryan Reynolds back. So, And they've got the, yeah, they, they've got the, the, yeah, they've got the multiverse. So they, yeah. maybe they can bring Wesley Snipes in. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Do that. Do, if you're going to use the multiverse and we're going to have different versions of different characters, bring Wesley Snipes back for Blade. Please. Bring back Blade. Yeah. And then can you bring back Old Man Logan, I, th- nah, I, if they offered him the right amount of money, he might. I just I love that movie. That movie legit made me cry. Logan, mm-hmm. yeah, it made me cry because like we basically we grew up of him like all the goods and bads of yeah. like how they did with Wolverine, and then like finally he's like this is his end. I don't know if they would if Hugh Jack Hugh Jackman's got the money. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, he's an artist. Mm-hmm. He loves to you know he's ve- he takes his roles very seriously. I don't know if he would want to ruin that legacy with such a good send off. Mm-hmm, right? That's true. So I hope if they do recast um, Wolverine, please choose somebody that was like very dedicated to their job, like how Hugh Jackman was. Have you seen the behind the scenes of Old Man Logan? Like how he was like training for it. Mm. Like they, so basically he was watching while doing the. Uh, like the recording of the voices mm. like he's watching the scenes that he was doing it and he was like running like running in place and then like punching at the same time and like growling and like snarling at the same time yeah, he's awesome. like watching it he's yeah. like really dedicated to that and character he's, he's treating the character with respect he's mm-hmm. not like i'm playing a con- comic book character let's get goofy mm-hmm. he's saying there's a lot of history mm-hmm. there's a lot of serious tone in these projects let's mm-hmm. actually show the character some reverence and mm-hmm. the fans will reciprocate which they do yeah that wolverine character on on screen is beloved yeah i so. love them <laughs>